following the directive of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to ban all photos in the country, Senator Joel Villanueva proposed the Senate Bill 2752 or the Anti-Pogo Act. Gab Cabonita reports. Senator Joel Villanueva filed Senate Bill 2752 or the proposed Anti-Pogo Act in accordance with the directive of President Ferdinand Marcos Jr to ban all Philippine offshore gaming operators, or POGO, in the country. The proposed bill calls for the revocation and cancellation of all POGO-related operations. It was first issued by the Philippine Amusement and Gaming Corporation, or PAGOR, along with other investment promotion agencies that have the power to issue such licenses. If the law passed, POGOs will have 30 days to stop their operations or face 12 to 20 years in prison and a 100 million peso fine. According to PAGOR, 40,000 workers will be affected by the POGO ban, which is equivalent to 40 billion peso income. Meanwhile, if the bill passed, it will also effectively repeal Republic Act 11590 or the Act Taxing Philippine Offshore Gaming Operations. Senators, including Senate President Francis Cheese Escudero, clarified that RA 11590 only adjusted tax rates for POGOs because they comply with the license issued by PAGCOR. On the other hand, up to 20,000 POGO foreign workers said they have left the Philippines within 60 days. It can be recalled that the President announced the total ban of POGO in his third State of the Nation address or SONA on July 22. This is Gab Cabonita for Euro TV News.